So we learned that the standard engine in a 1969 Charger Daytona was a 440 Magnum, 375 horsepower, and that the optional engine was the 425 horsepower, 426 Hemi. The second generation, 1968 to 1970, if you talk about a 68 or a 69 Dodge Charger RT, the standard engine in that was the 375 horsepower, 440. Optional engine was the 426 Hemi. In 70, Dodge opened it up a little bit and allowed you in the RT to get the 440 Magnum, a 446 pack, and the 426 Hemi. In 71, a Dodge Charger RT standard engine was the 440 Magnum, again optional 446 pack and 426 Hemi. After that, the 440 was available for a couple of years, but the Hemi never was after that. For me, I had a 70 Dodge Charger. It was a original 383 two barrel. And when I bought the car, that motor was long gone. And I bought the car in like the late 70s. It had a 1974 318 out of a Roadrunner in it, which is laughable, you would think, because of the low compression. But it would burn the tires almost as far as the 440 I put in it two years later. We went out to Howl Lane out by my cousin's place, and I lit them up with, a, I had a sure grip in it. And I could burn for almost an eighth of a mile without power braking with that 318. I mean, that thing had power. It would just smoke them. The 440 would go farther, and it would go faster. But don't underestimate a 318. It's a durable engine. It's been around forever, and, uh, and it creates horsepower. So if I had a choice, of course, I'd take the 440, but, you know, it's because of the Mopar guy.